Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I'll show you the game played by Eldado and Sabrina. And this beautiful game complete in only 21 moves. And let's see how the game play. The game play start with the knight to f3, d5, d4, e6, c4, c6, queen to c2, then the knight to f6. And now the white play knight b. Develop the bishop, bishop to e7. And this is the first five move with the queen can be decline system without the knight c3. And here you can see that the position is equal for both sides. Then the game continue with the pawn to e4 and now the pawn capture e4 then the knight takes e4 and after this the knight capture again and the queen capture again queen takes e4 and after this move you can see that the white is slightly better in this position and then the black just continue to check with bishop e4 check then bishop defense the check and now the bishop capture then the knight capture again and here the white is better in this position and after this the knight to d7 so this is the first 10 move and the white is much better in this position with the two pawn in the center of the square And the queen is hardly active in the center of the board. So after this, the white go for a long castling while the black go for a short castling. And both the idea is to bring the king off the center of the board. Then bishop to d3 was played. And this we have a simple idea to capture the pawn at h7 and checkmate. For example, if you move a pawn to a6, then you just capture the pawn at h7 and it will be a checkmate. And the king cannot move to anywhere and cannot capture the queen. So after this move. towards the king side and attack. After this, c5 was played and now we shot to c2. Then the pawn capture and at this position you can capture with the queen. And this will keep on pressure and the knight cannot be moved away and this will give white a better position. Because if the if you use queen to capture, if the knight move away, then the queen will capture the queen. After you capture, then you win the rook in this position. And you have a very strong attack and the bishop will be pinned at this position. So if you move the king away, then c5 will attack the knight. And now the knight move to d5. Then here you can just continue to move the knight and attack nearest to the bishop. You can also have the idea of push the knight and after this if you move the knight to e7 then the knight can go to c4 and goes to attack at e6 and will be winning the bishop. You also can bring the bishop close to a4 and also close to d7 and attack the bishop. And this situation is pretty pink and the white is clearly winning in this situation. So after this move, rook takes the pawn. And this was playable also. After this, 
the black play queen to c7 and with the idea to move the rook to c to d8 after this rook h to d1 and this double up the rook and we are able to attack the knight then e5 and was played trying to attack the rook and now the rook goes to d6 and this rook is very strong to attack the rank 6 file and we have the idea to move the rook to f6 and also we hope to go for the knight to g5 and the queen to h4 and just a simple checkmate at the side of the board h5 so after this move the black play a uh, rook to e8 and here the queen continue to move to h4 with the idea to attack the pawn at h7 the queen from e4 to h4 and to attack the h7 pawn and now the black is under a strong pressure and attack from the black played a knight b6 and this is one of the tactical blunder as the white can just move the knight to g5 and able to capture the pawn so in the actual game after this move knight g5 was played and now the white is clearly winning 6 plus and after this the black seems that there is nothing wrong to be captured the pawn therefore the queen continue to capture the pawn and if you move something like h5 then you will have a brilliant sacrifice with the bishop bishop takes the pawn g6 and after capture then you have a rook capture and now if the king move to h8 then the queen will just capture the pawn and check and this it says that the situation of the back rank check me after the queen blocks then you use the queen to capture and will be a checkmate or you can also use the knight to f7 and this also will be a checkmate as the queen cannot capture the knight as it's been pin so back to this position if you move something like move the pawn forward to f5 then the pawn will continue to attack the knight and if you move the knight to any place such as this a4 and c4 it will be captured by the queen and if you move to d5 you also will be captured by the rook so if you move something like uh, moving the knight to d7 then the queen will just continue to capture and check the king after king f8 then you have a simple checkmate with the queen f7 so at this move the black going to lose a piece and if you give away the knight you move other piece such as a uh, bishop to e6 then the pawn you just capture and after pawn capture then the rook will continue to attack by playing rook to d7 
57 and if you use again use the Bishop pocket then you have a simple idea with use a queen to capture H7 check the king move you have a queen to F7 check therefore after this attack the queen need to move away and if you queen move away such as to C8 again you have a queen capture the H7 pawn and check the king and now if the king goes to F8 then you have queen to G7 checkmate and again the king is being not able to move to anywhere so after this position the black capture the pawn queen takes C4 and after capture the pawn here the white is definitely winning with the queen takes H7 and check the king after capture the pawn and check the king and now the king has only one place to move which is a king to f8 and this with the idea thinking that the black queen can protect the pawn while the white only have two pieces to attack so after this move the white just continue to pressure the attack by moving rook to f6 and now you have a three pieces to attack the square and after this move the black play a queen to c7 and after this move the white is winning at mid in two and at this move the black resign the game I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure out how the combination of white to play and make in two. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the moves. In this position, you have a few ideas such as you can use the root to capture the point to fix and check. And now, nothing the king can do and cannot move to anywhere and you limit it to capture with the queen after queen capture you have a queen capture and you have a very simple checkmate another idea is that if you use the queen to h8 and check the king and after this the king have one place to move which is to king e7 and then you have a rook capture f7 and it will be a checkmate and with this thank you